In this video, we'll show you how to install the Siemens VersaCharge single and dual post along with the cable retraction system. To ensure safety, it's recommended that more than one person install both the single and dual posts. You should also consider all safety warnings in the VersaCharge installation and operations manual prior to wiring. To download the manual, visit usa.siemens.com slash VersaCharge. There are a few ways you can run the power supply and communication wires. One option is to run the power supply and communication wires underground, feeding them through the bottom opening in the pedestal. Or if the conduits are run above ground, the wires can be brought in through the sides of the post using the lower one inch holes on each side of the pedestal base. When using above ground conduits, Use 3 quarter inch NPT fittings to enter through the 1 inch holes in the lower section of the pedestal. The power conduit should be sized to provide three wires, L1, L2, and GND for each charger mounted. Install the wires so they extend far enough above the ground for direct attachment to the charger. The wires should at least be the height of the mounting bracket and the communication conduit should be 3 quarter inch to run one or two Cat5 or 6 communication cables to each VersaCharge charger. To begin, let's remove the assembly from the package, as well as the mounting bracket and hardware from its box, and set aside. Place the pedestal assembly onto the concrete mounting base. A minimum base size of 18 inch by 18 inch by 18 inch of reinforced concrete is recommended. If using underground conduit, Center the base plate over the conduit and mark the four mounting hole locations onto the base. Remove the assembly and then drill mounting holes into the concrete. The included drop-in anchors require a 5 8 inch hole. Next, remove any debris and install the drop-in anchors. Place the pedestal assembly onto the base. If conduit is stubbed up through the base from the underground routing, Feed the power and communication wires through the opening in the base of the 3 inch by 5 inch raceway. If conduit is above ground, remove the hole plug and connect conduits to the lower 1 inch holes in the sides of the raceway using 3 quarter inch NPT connectors. Power and communication cables must be run in separate conduits. If they're too close, there will be interference that negatively affects communication. Install the 90 degree conduit NM connectors on the raceway and feed the power wires through the NM connectors. Feed the communication wires through the included top cap with the straight NM connector and 3 quarter inch conduit supplied in the kit. Install the top cap onto the raceway and secure it with a thin bead of silicon. Mount the aluminum VersaCharge mounting bracket onto the retractor post using four 1032 half inch screws. Next, install the charger mounting bracket and charger. Please refer to the installation manual or video for instructions on how to install the charger. If you're using a cable retraction system, it's time to begin mounting. Remove the bottom half of the cable clamp by removing the two screws and set aside. Unravel the charging cable by removing any twists and holster the charging station connector to the connector dock. Then find the approximate midway point of the charging cable. Without tightening the screws all the way, loosely attach the cable clamp to the charging cable and retract to the starting point. The cable should freely slide within the clamp. Slide the cable until you have achieved a loop from the charging station to the clamp. Then clamp to the charging station connector. Both loops should hover above the ground. Use the included rubber square spacer insert between the cable clamp and cable, creating a tight grip on the cable as you tighten the screws. The cable should not move within the clamp. Finally, install the lower cable holster supplied with the VersaCharge charger. For dual post only, install the front cover plate with the two quarter 20 half inch machine button head Phillips screws. That's it. Now that the post and charger are installed, you're ready to turn the power on and set up the charger.